I'm Andy Parker with Daystar, and I am so excited to be here on the red carpet in Dallas for the premiere of Jumping the Broom. This movie comes out on Mother's Day. It was produced by Bishop T.D. Jakes, and we're so excited. We got to speak with most of the actors. We're going to take you behind the scenes, and you'll hear a little bit from their hearts. Our main character in the movie, Sabrina, uh, when this movie opens, you know, she has had so, some issues in her past and trying uh, to find the right balance with relationships in her life, and she hasn't been able to do that, and she's made a lot of mistakes, and so she's made a conscious decision to wait to have sex until she gets married, and that is a theme that runs throughout this movie. It's not always an easy thing for her or for the man that she's going to marry, Jason, but we thought that was a very important message to tell that that decision can and it should be the right decision, and that's one that runs throughout this movie. Sabrina's love life was hit or miss. Oh, oh my God, sir, are you okay? I am so sorry. Oh. I could have killed you. Until she hit him. Sabrina, did you marry me? Yes. The ceremony begins at 2 p.m. sharp with dinner and dancing to follow. The Watsons are uptown. And Jason and I will be married. Girl. The Taylors are downtown. Jason is getting married this weekend. You know by now she should have come over here to meet me. This is strike one. Oh, don't forget about your anger management classes, Pam. It's the kind of film that's entertaining. People can come out to laugh, to have a good time. There's an underlying message about forgiveness that I think everybody needs in their life and in their family. And yet I could take my grandchild and not feel uncomfortable with the film. So you very seldom get that in America today. For me, it was the car it was the script. Mm -hmm. It was a great script. It was a wonderful director at the head of it. Action! And and there was just the 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 idea, the theme was excellence from day one to the end. Mm -hmm. and that's that's what he you know, that's what Salim Akil. You know, that was his mantra, just mm -hmm. excellence. The same for me, the cast and the script. Had, and I'd never played a villainous type character before, so I was kind of excited to be so aggressive in, in, in the part that I'd have to play. I'm Claudine Watson. Oh, Pam Taylor. Well, may I say that you certainly raised a wonderful man. Well, thank you, he is wonderful. I wish I could say the same about you and your daughter. Oh! <laughs> said that the wrong way. I mean, I wish I had met her earlier, before now. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Well, why, why don't we go into the house, make you more comfortable? For men, young men, is that, you know, it's not gonna be easy. You know, just because you make a commitment and you make a vow and, and you stick to it, being disciplined, you know, is, it may not necessarily be easy at all times. You're, you're gonna be tempted. Uh, but if you put love first, and you put, you know, your your companion in the long term, you know, uh, goal of being with them and honoring them and loving them. Then this is just a very minute thing. That in the grand scheme of things, there are other things that you can appreciate in the person besides just sex. Which sometimes we tend to, you know, give a little too much importance to in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important for young women. I think that more often than not, young women do things to please men, and it's important to stay strong in your beliefs and, and love yourself enough to draw a sand, line in the sand and say, this is where it stops for me, and so that you can save something for your love for your husband that's very special and intimate that you can share together once you've made that vow. I understand that you love each other and uh, that you're maybe even meant to be together. But I should warn you that sometimes life will really test you. Oh, well, we'll pass. I mean, Reverend James, Jason was sent to me. He's my soulmate. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. But even a soulmate can really test you. This movie is really made for everybody. This is really about, from our standpoint, ultimate evangelism, because this is a movie for everybody that you can take your friend to, and they're not even gonna perceive this necessarily as being a, quote, Christian movie. This is just a great, entertaining, fun movie, but they're gonna walk out of this movie, and you're gonna have something to talk to them about. Oh my gosh, it's about mothers, and family, and relationships, and forgiveness. You want to be able to see a lot more of these family-based movies where you can bring your entire family, have an in incredibly great evening without any profanity or 
or violence or any of that and have something to talk about over dinner and also some lessons that were snuck in underneath and it's absolutely beautiful it's like going on a vacation opening weekend may the 6th the movie is called jumping the broom and if you don't understand why it's called that go see it and we'll explain it in the film it's crazy it's fun and it will bless your life